One of the great things about using Evernote is the ability to find an article online or something you might need later and store it in Evernote. Today, I want to show you one of the easiest ways to do it using Web Clipper. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. This is another in my series of videos on how to effectively use Evernote. These videos are not sponsored by Evernote or anyone else, so they're based only on my experiences. But do me a favor, please subscribe to this series. That way you won't miss an episode and it will encourage me to produce more. Evernote Web Clipper is a browser extension for Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Safari, and it becomes part of Internet Explorer when you install Evernote for Windows. You can clip web pages, articles, or PDFs and save them directly into Evernote. You can screen capture full pages or just the parts you want without distracting ads and sidebars. So rather than talk about it, let's test drive it. So I'm using Firefox. And if you notice, I just loaded up one of, uh, one of the blogs from my website. You can see up here, there is this little green elephant. And this little green elephant is key to the Evernote Clipper. Because when you click on it, you are launching the Web Clipper. And at that point in time, you have a number of options, as you can see. First of all, you can change the, uh, the appearance of what you want to save. Now, I've saved here, I've got it automatically checked off to simplified article. And you may have noticed what's happened here. It has eliminated the header from the website. It's eliminated all the promotional stuff on the sides and the bottom. It has just given me the simple article. So if I save the clip here by clicking this green bar, it's just going to save what you see on your screen. Now, if you click article, now it will save everything that is on your entire web page. Full page again gives you everything, but it does not include the um, the web address and all of the the navigation stuff that you're 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 missing here. Uh, you can also select a bookmark if you want to just bookmark this this web page, or if you just want to take a screenshot, and you can just move the hashtags around if you are doing that. Now, organization. Where do you want this file to go once you have once you've done this? Well, I prefer to have it always go into my inbox but you can click on this arrow and change the folder that you want this article to go into. You can also put an automatic tag. So let's say, for example, this article is about goal setting and I have been collecting a lot of articles on goal setting. I could use that tag and, and just put goal setting in here and then it would save that as a tag within Evernote. I could also add a remark if I want let's say something pertaining to the article or the author's name or something like that. So let's save the clip. And as you can see, it saved the clip. I can view this automatically in Evernote. I can also forward this article. I can either copy it to the clipboard or I can mail you this article right away or I can delete the option. I can add a reminder uh, to this article if I choose to do that. And here uh, it is also suggesting some other articles that I might want to uh, review that would be related to what I've just clipped on my website. Oh, and by the way, you can annotate whatever you've saved. After you've clipped something, select the annotate tool to highlight and add visual callouts such as arrows or direct attention to specific elements and you can also share what you found. Click the share button to share and discuss ideas with others. Clip design ideas to share with your team or post event details on a team page. By the way, Web Clipper is free and you can download it from evernote.com. It's something that I use a lot. It's helped me in researching my books and blog posts that I have written, so I suggest you take a look at it, especially because it's free. And if you're already using Evernote, why not? Before we wrap up, I want to ask you for a quick favor. It's been suggested that I prepare an online course to help people set up and use Evernote. 
After all, I can only scratch the surface on these YouTube videos. What I need to know from you is what this course should include. Think about the very first time you downloaded Evernote. What would you have liked to have known before you get started? I'm thinking about including ideas uh, for the beginner as well as the most experienced user. So share with me your ideas in the comment box below or shoot me an email at daveedwards at outlook.com. I'd really appreciate your assistance in helping me develop this course. I'm Dave Edwards. Thanks for your help and for joining me today.